Welcome back to Top Hour Repairs. To this topic, I'm going to show you guys how to find a small vacuum leak that is causing lean codes. Get yourself a scan tool. You don't need anything fancy. And press read code. As you can see, we have one lean code. Next, go to data stream. As you can see, the uh, short term future bank one, the number is higher than usual. A normal number is about 10%, and this one is 14% at idle. If you're getting codes for lean condition and you don't have any other codes, then most likely you probably have a vacuum leak. Because if you don't have an oxygen sensor code or EVAP code or a mass airflow sensor code, etc., again, most likely you have a vacuum leak. And one way to tell you have a vacuum leak is when you look at the short term fuel trim and if the percentage is higher than 10% in the positive side, most likely you have a vacuum leak. Also, you want to pay attention to the long term fuel trim as well. If the number is greater than 10, again, most likely you have. A vacuum leak another way to tell that you have a vacuum leak is a vacuum leak I always improve a wide open throttle so you can see here short-term fuel trim is at 70 percent that's a very high number and I'm going to gas it and if you see the numbers start to drop the short-term fuel trim then you know you have a vacuum leak as you can see I'm stepping on the uh, gas pedal and short-term fuel trim is dropping I'm gonna let go of the gas pedal and you can see the number climb back up. So we'll wait a little bit. It's gonna climb as high as 16%, 70%, and 18%. Well, that's taking a little bit too long. But again, I'm gonna show you guys that you gas it, the number is going to drop. So right now we're about at 3000 RPM and now know that this vehicle does have a vacuum leak. And I'm going to let go of the gas pedal again. The number should climb back up. So I know that there's a small vacuum leak somewhere. So I suspect that a vacuum leak is caused by a vacuum hole somewhere. And the first thing you want to do is you want to conduct a visual inspection of all the vacuum hoses. Make sure there are no cracks and there are no leaks and make sure it's not broken off at the clamp. Also make sure everything is nice and tight and where it should be. Finding a vacuum leak is very simple. All you need is carburetor cleaner, throttle body cleaner, or brake cleaner and spray it around the intake manifold area and hoses connecting to the intake manifold area. Also, make sure to spray at the brake booster as well. If you hear a change in RPM, for example, if you hear the engine revving higher than usual, then you know the vacuum leak is at that area. If you can't find a vacuum leak, you can also conduct an inspection again. For example, I removed some of the vacuum hoses and I pinched the tip. As you can see, this one is cracked at the edge. So I finally found a vacuum leak and it is coming from the intake manifold area. It's because this intake manifold was removed before when replacing the starter. So I suspect that the intake manifold gasket got damaged. After replacing the intake manifold gasket and the two cracked vacuum hoses, I have to say this vehicle is now fixed. So that's how you know that you have a vacuum leak using a scan tool and keep an eye on the short term fuel trim and also using carburetor cleaner and spraying at areas that you suspect that you might have a vacuum leak. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.